Hey guys, I skipped to build and this is the third build that I think is worth talking about as a and making like a full build guide video. The two builds that I skipped I'm gonna talk at the end of this video but this one is a Held of Agony build with Arakalis Fang. Why? Because you can kind of automate poison proliferation and automate summoning Arakalis uh, spiders and also automate villain stacks for Held of Agony. And I did this in 3.9 in Metamorph. Back then, the only way to proliferate poison was Binus Kitchen Knife, and it wasn't really great, but it was an interesting build idea. And now I return to that idea again. I'm gonna be straight with you, it doesn't perform as well as I expected, it's not as reliable, but it is overall pretty nice mapping and has pretty good single target DPS. Like, I wouldn't do any Uber bosses, but I was able to kill Cirrus quite easily, normal Cirrus and uh, farm tier 16, tier 16 guardians and uh, conquerors, it was just fine, but it's a bit clunky, you still need to carry worm flask, the witting jar, you still need to create corpses, and it's a bit finicky, but overall it's pretty nice. I probably wouldn't recommend this for another reason, but it's not too cheap, it's it's a bit expensive because I'm using two large cluster jewels with a minimum 35% effect and then four medium jewels. I am using common calamity but the armor. The idea of this build began with the previous build that I did, I'm gonna talk about that later. I, I bought this body armor with plus two to duration and plus two to minutes and it already has plus two socketed hell gems. So essentially it could be a plus six but not for Held of Agony, because Held of Agony does not have a duration tag. At most it could be plus 5, if you can get plus 1 to all gems, and then plus 2 to minions, and then it itself has plus 2 to held, and then you could like uh, use Empower, but it's not really needed. Whenever you level your minions past level 30, we kind of have diminishing returns, and we don't get as much per level as it was getting at lower levels, essentially. So this is uh, currently Held of Agony at level 31, called Iron Point, which is plus 3 to held of agony i am not using the loan messenger the loan messenger that gives minus only i believe 25 percent more damage but it disables your other auras so i'm gonna explain how this works i'm gonna keep this short i'm gonna leave path for building import code in the description about this build the way this works is that whenever an enemy dies from damage over time it counts as your kill even if it is like a minion's damage over time so if a minion applies poison and the enemy dies from that poison, not from hit, from that poison, then it counts as your kill. And if it's your kill, then you can proliferate that poison. This is using Pathfinder Master uh, Toxis. Toxicis? Essentially, you proliferate that poison. And if you got Golden Rule, that poison proliferated from minion, sort of from minion kills, will also be applied back to you. You just in general want to use Golden Rule with the Held of Agony because you double the amount of uh, virulent stacks that you get per hit, essentially. Because one hit poisons the enemy, and the other hit reflects that poison back to you, and it counts as two virulent stacks. First thing, you want to use Golden Rule. So when it proliferates the poison from uh, enemies dying to poison, it spreads out out to other enemies and each time it applies onto other enemies it also ramps up villain stacks. Uh, this is good for two reasons, first is villain stacks and the other one is that it can automate summoning Arakalis spiders because Arakalis spiders the condition is 100% trigger on kill and it is your kill if the enemies dies from poison. Now held up agony itself does not have chance to poison so I had to give it chance to poison, but it still does not have 100%. It has like 70, yeah, it has 73% chance to poison the Held of Agony. The other thing is that if enemies get straight up one-shotted, even if it would apply poison, it would try to apply the poison after they hit. The Held of Agony very often just one-shots the enemies and it does not proliferate the poison. Like in general, it very often just kills the enemies with hits. So it doesn't always have time to kill enemies with that poison. That's why the inconsistency and that's why it's so unreliable as well. Because this is not a poison build. The Arakalis spiders for the most part just have uh, like withering touch uh, and then defeating frenzy and then melee splash. So we don't do that much damage. We are mostly just to spread poison and that poison to kill enemies and then ramps up villain stacks when it proliferates the poison. And it works well, for example, in breaches. You can actually see not, not throwing ball lighting and it just keeps ramping up villain stacks all the way to the max, which is currently 50 or 55, I forgot. And at that point, the Held of Agony does do a lot of damage. But in practice, against like single target, you're not gonna have like maximum damage for Held of Agony all the time. 
So it's kind of hard to estimate the damage and the Held of Agony does have multiple different skills. One of the skills, the Tail Spike, which shoots 5 projectiles, it hits for almost 1 million average hit damage. Uh, and then the Mortar shoots multiple projectiles and Big Hand Shotgun. And the, the Mortar actually does the most damage, if all the projectiles can overlap. And this is by the way at uh, at only 40 villain stacks, it's not, it's not maxed out. At 50 villain stacks obviously it would do a lot more. But it's pretty inconsistent, the more villain stacks you get, uh, the quicker it degens and the slower it degens near the end of the expiration of virulent stacks. By the way, in order to use golden rule I had to be unaffected by poison. Because if the enemy cannot poison me, if I cannot poison myself then there is there is no reason to use golden rule, right? So the only good option I found was unaffected by poison boost which is elevated mod. So my boots look like absolute trash. We only have movement speed, lightning rest and unaffected by poison pretty much. There are still a couple of things that I could uh, tweak about this. I could not get the right color so I'm still using main support which is not as good as uh, level 5 awakened uh, void manipulation which would be another plus 1 to held of agony. But it would be pretty much the same damage as with the vicious projectile I believe. So if you look at this uh, 4 point almost 5 million dps from the tail spike. Uh, with Vicious Projectile it would be 4 point almost 4, so it's very similar damage. And it's much cheaper to get Vicious Projectiles rather than Awakened level 5 Void Manipulation. You are kind of dependent on Arakali Spiders applying Bittering Touch, which is kind of annoying because very often when you have a Held of Agony Crawler it will just kill those worms instead of you. And those worms kind of spread out around you so it's hard to actually kill them with the Ball Lighting. And I am using Ball Lighting with the Unleash uh, and the Chancy Poison and Life Tap to just apply a lot of poison stacks on the on enemies. And remember that each poison I apply on enemies gets reflected back to me and that also ramps up villain stacks. So against single target you just kind of spam ball lighting and you get uh, up to maximum villain stacks very quickly. But uh, for withering touch you have to get Arakali spiders which only lasts 20 seconds I did not invest into wear duration. Although I guess for single target you could swap melee splash for increased duration maybe. So you have to create desecrate manually and then throw worms. But if you are in the middle of the fight and you have some minutes you kind of have to first throw ball lighting and then click the worms and then hope that those worms kind of uh, are thrown on top of the ball lighting. And uh, they are immortal just like Agony, the Held of Agony crawler as well. So this is pretty much just using immortal minions so you don't need to worry about them dying, you just need to you just need to refresh them. The Arakali spiders have to expire before you can refresh them. Uh, as for the defenses, this build does have evasion, uh, 13,000 before, well actually with the players but the players don't have increased evasion. I was actually supposed to change this, I forgot. But I am using Bismuth Flash to cap my resistances and then Quas Flash to cap my spell suppression and then Quicksilver to get speed. And then one flask is empty because I'm still also using Valbala, the, the traitor node, because otherwise I cannot sustain my all of my flasks. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now the build that I skipped, one of the builds was I already deleted that character, but it was Rage Vortex. I do have only PUB and like one clip of uh, playing with the Rage Vortex. It was actually very pleasant, it's, it's, it was fast, the EV was massive, it was actually very pleasant to map with and clear with. The problem is, it was Berserker, it was still tanky. Actually initially even built it to have over like 70k armor, I would say Brass Dome, so it was 70k armor with the flask, 83 maximum uh, elemental resistance is 85 fire res. Uh, it had I believe 45 so it was pretty tanky but at the same time it was very squishy. It's very hard to explain and I did not do a video about it because it, it just was not pleasant. It was so annoying. I actually even rage quit playing Rage Vortex. Uh, I have one clip already about um, about me dying like while I blinked. It's just so weird. To, I don't know how to explain it. What was I lacking is probably just a bit more here stress and evasion actually. Every time I, I don't have evasion and spell suppression it just feels bad. And another trick that I was using, calm spirit to get rage generation, but that disables my life region. However, you can still use recovery mastery. Every 4 seconds recover 1 life for every 0.1 life recovery per second from regeneration. Because Calm Spirit says life recovery from regeneration is not applied. It's st you still like technically have regeneration, you just don't 
apply it to recover your life. So this life mastery essentially, too bad I don't have the character anymore. That's why my life was bouncing. I had no region and I was degening because of triple rage uh, node from the berserker, right of ruin. I was degening a lot because I had up to 115 maximum rage, so it was mega degen. And every 4 seconds I would just top my region because I, uh, this build had, well it's actually hard to tell. Uh, it was pretty much recovering over 10,000 health every 4 seconds instantly because of uh, how much region I had converted into into a rage region. It, it's, it still works with the rage region and I was getting rage region from another thing. Every 4 seconds regenerate life equal to 1% of your armor and evasion every 1 second. And then the calm spirit you regenerate 1 rage per second for every 100 flat life region per second. This node was every 4 seconds boosting my uh, rage region by not that much it was like 4 or, or, or 5 something like that then I had the helmet with the flat 400 life region which was giving essentially 4 flat rage region you just need to make sure that you do not have any corrupted items I thought that I would be using berserk very often but it's very unpleasant to use berserk and rage vortex if you run out of rage the berserk uh, well, drains it and you cannot cast Rage Vortex. So it was just very unpleasant. I will leave Path for Building import code uh, in the description for this build as well. This was using Red Blade with the AoE scaling for Endurance Charge. So it was like overall interesting and pleasant to like move around fast and throw like massive Rage Vortex. But it was just squishy and I I don't know how I would solve that. I would want to use uh, chain breaker which I, I I refuse to use. Now the next build that I still have but although I already scrapped the build. The other build was using Valdovanating Blow inside Aziris, uh, Aziris Ring, Triumvirate Authority. And then using Held of Purity inside that body armor that I showed. The common calamity which essentially gave plus 6 to levels of the Held of Purity. And the Held of Purity was doing more damage than the Dominating Blow. But the problem with this build that I had, if my minions died and I did not really have minion tankiness, if my minions died and there's only let's say magic monsters which happen in tier 1 map, I, I cannot summon my minions. Because I can only summon them on kill which is very unlikely because I'm not doing much damage with the dominating blow myself to get kills to summon a held of purity minions or on hitting rare or unique. So if there are no rare or uniques and you cannot actually get kills then you cannot really summon minions. And that was very frustrating but other than that it was it was kind of okay build. I just uh, thought that it would be cool to build very high a held of purity minion uh, level and actually technically you could even use like dual wheel called iron points and you would end up with level 35 held of pure dominance. Uh, although you could also use uh, empower and get even higher level but it's not really worth it because it doesn't scale that well past level 30. So this was using the surrender because it's pretty nice for the uh, for the life sustain and this was guardian. Um, I think I, I yeah I quit this build at level 80 so I don't have fully like min max the passive skill tree and everything but i will also include the path of building import code in the description for this build but yeah i, I don't know I, I probably would not recommend this build although i don't know how it would feel in high tier maps i just imagine it would not feel that great uh, i already started the next build which may also be a mistake i'm doing a flicker strike with Aziris disfavor i did that last league it was a stun flicker strike and it was actually pretty good, actually very good for cleaning but it wasn't great for single target. This time it's gonna be a bit different, it's gonna be trying to use mark proliferation to ramp up rage to sustain berserk. And flicker strike I think would work better uh, than rage vortex for example because rage vortex, I tried also using the mark proliferation and rage vortex was just hitting all the enemies at the same time and killing them all the, at the same time so the mark proliferation did not have like chance to proliferate to our enemies but with flicker strike it should work better and the idea is just build high dps flicker strike not necessarily the highest attack speed and then use uh, wallace mark to proliferate it to sustain rage to sustain berserk and that way get speed and uh, hopefully good clear speed that's gonna be my next build so for now thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye